Good morning. Right, we are sat in a 2005 T5. So this is a really old bus. It's done 278,000 miles. So it's got some evidence of wear and tear. We have fitted the Alpine INE W611D and D stands for DAB. So you've got the newer style function um, software on here with the TomTom -tom mapping. Three years free updates. You've still got the CD and the DVD drive. You've got DAB, you've got Bluetooth, you've got CarPlay, you've got Android Auto. And we've also done a reversing camera for this customer. Please don't pay any attention to this. This is nothing to do with us. This is just because this uh, van has probably had a multitude of radios fitted. Um, but hopefully this will be the last one because this is exactly what this customer wanted. Now, not only good thing about this, unlike the X803 and the Halos and the ILX702, this has got dual USB. Um, so Tim probably won't show you up there because he's already had to struggle to get the camera in and working. Um, so at the moment, I'm going to just do a run through of this particular model because we started to sell a lot more of these because people don't mind the smaller um, display, six and a half inch. They want the hard keys here rather than touchscreen, especially in a van like this where you don't have steering wheel controls because you've got your up and down on the volume. So we're going to do a little run through because at the moment, uh, we've got two USBs connected. One is the customer's USB stick for music, left in all the time. The other one can be for Android Auto or CarPlay, but we'll just do a quick run through on both of those as well. So this is your main menu screen. When you press it, you've got two pages and you can scroll through and decide what you want. So if we go on to radio, FM and DAB are sharing the same uh, section at the top here, so you can just go into FM. I've tuned in a few stations for them, and this particular T5 has the typical windscreen antenna, which was always really, really poor. Um, so what we've done is we've put a booster on there to give it a little bit better sound. So let's go back to there. Uh, we go into DAB. Now, again, we didn't want to fit a glass-mounted internal windscreen antenna. So on this one, we've actually done a body-mounted one, but on the wing. Uh, the rest of the van, although it's white, it's got black wing mirrors and contrasted, so we've put the DAB antenna in. Looks the bee's knees. And we can go into list here, and you can see that we've got loads and loads of stations, so it's doing its job really, really well. Now, again, if you watch our videos and you have an Alpine, you will see that the software is quite different to um, how you normally have with an Alpine. So the software is different because it's a completely different platform, this particular W611D. So we go out of there and out of DAB and go back to your main screen or you've got a little home icon at the top here. Now with the home icon, you can do split screen stuff. So if you want full nav, you can hit the screen like you would any other normal Alpine and it goes straight into uh, where you are, others, etc., bits and pieces, and then you've got useful information for GPS. I mean, look at that. GPS is located underneath the dashboard somewhere. Oh, I can't remember, even though I only did it yesterday. Uh, we've got 20 satellites, that's crazy. Although this isn't a GLONASS unit, um, it still picks up the normal GPS satellite, so awesome. Um, similar sort of setup, you've got a few other apps in there that you can do. Put your new route in so you've got full postcode search and other bits and pieces. Uh, you go out of nav, you go into reversing camera. So we've wired up the reversing camera onto an ignition, so irrelevant of what we're doing, whether it's in reverse or not. Uh, sorry about that, Tim's just dropped the camera. Um, we are in a bit of a dodgy tripod situation, but even though we've wired it up onto the reverse, um, we don't need to have the vehicle in reverse. So I can press camera here. The image comes up. We've decided to have the guide on or off and you can adjust those. You can see our um, walk through advanced in car mat. Uh, and again, if you notice the wrong way around, well, of course it's because the camera is a uh, mirror image so that you can see what's on the left and right. And we go out of that. And if I'm on any menu in the system, I can put the vehicle into reverse and it'll automatically flick over to the camera and back out as soon as we pan it out. Phone, standard Bluetooth stuff, uh, which we won't bother going into. And then you've got your second page. Second page is your USB music. So on the dashboard here for convenience rather than in the glove box, um, I fitted the dual USB. Now the kit comes with 
a black USB and a grey. I don't know why, uh, I've thrown the grey one away and we fitted a dual black one for ultimate neatness. So this is the customer's uh, USB stick here and you can select, I don't know, one of a thousand tracks. You've got the artwork if you've uploaded it and you've got um, your just your next track and your progress bar and everything else and the title and the name of the album, which is quite cool. Uh, you can then go straight into uh, the navigation. You can go into HDMI if it's fitted and AUX if it's fitted. Neither of those are needed in this vehicle. Uh, what we will do is we will then plug into uh, the CarPlay and the Android Auto. Now up the top here, we've got setup. This is quite clever. It's a bit more involved than the Halo stuff. So you can turn the screen off for when you're driving at night um, I mean, typically the T5, the T5.1, the T6 do suffer with a bit of sun glare. Um, this screen won't suffer as much because it's got a slight tint to it. And that's why Tim struggled with the camera this morning to get it set up. Uh, so the tripod is pretty much on my lap. Um, we can go into settings and we can change stuff. We can go in, we can do security code for anti-theft. Um, screen saver that you can set up. Unfortunately, we can't do our normal splash screen on this, which is what we like to do. So it's got the standard blue Alpine one, but no matter. Okay, so let's go into um, let's go into CarPlay and Android also. So at the moment, I think what we need to do is unplug and plug it back in because that is probably locked the device. So let's plug that back in. Probably going to have to unlock the tablet now, so just one second. Okay, let's just unlock. Continue. Uh, Android, I always tell the same. I'm a little bit clunky, so it does take a little second to load up, unlike CarPlay. So, that's it, tablet can go back on the dash and you'll see now the Android Auto icon is illuminated. Same standard features as all the others, just a slightly smaller screen. You can go in, you've got your direct access to Spotify on your taskbar down here. You've got Google Maps, you've got Waze, you've got all the other features of Android Auto, which is um, quite cool. So even if you didn't have navigation, you've got all these other bits and pieces to keep you going and connect to your phone. So you've got uh, live traffic information and that's the most important thing. So Android Auto, not gonna bore you with that because we've done enough videos for you to see how that works. Um, let's have a look, let's plug in the Apple device. I mean, I quite like the fact that it's got the split screen because you can still see your turn-by-turn -turn instructions and you can then have your music that's playing on there as well. So usually, okay, unlock my phone and we've got uh, iOS 10 on there. So we've got all the latest bits and pieces for... Um, okay, so uh, I don't know why that's on there. That's not my choice of music, but still I'm sure I'm going to get ribbed for it. So... Let's go back into here. We've got uh, Google Maps, we've got Spotify, we've got Waze. We can go in and do all the bits and pieces. Again, not gonna bore you, we do enough of these videos, but usual familiar CarPlay. So going back to the dual USB, you've got that, you've got your Bluetooth, you've got your dab, but you've got your CD and your DVD player. So if I unplug my phone, like so. Now this is just a random DVD, so please don't judge us. Okay, so I've put a DVD in um, and uh, you can enable or disable the safety function. Obviously that's not sensible whilst the vehicle is driving and it's also um, illegal. So hopefully this disc is not too scratched. Excellent, okay, English. And that will start playing. Uh, just for copyright, uh, we won't be able to turn up the volume. Um, but we can then go full screen. Okay, so you've got your DVD. And then we can just go. Okay, there you go. There's no music playing, so we can get away with doing that. Got your full screen on there. And of course you can go in and you can zoom to give you the full screen, providing the DVD is offering that format as well. Uh, okay, so let's get the CD out, which I was looking for the button then, just because. 
it must be this button. <laughs> it hasn't even got an eject button on here. Yeah, there it is there. It was a press and hold on the on the mute and the settings button. So we can go in and we can put the uh, CD in. Like so. And CD will play. Again, this is just a disc that we've had for a while. Put the disc in. Sorry, I keep knocking the camera with my elbow because we're in uh, quite... So there you go, that's a, an audio track that's playing on there. Now this might um, be of interest to you because having a DVD player and a CD player is really cool because a lot of these units now are mechless. Um, so you've got CD, DVD, FM, DAB, you've got Bluetooth, you've got CarPlay, you've got Android Auto, you've got absolutely everything that you need to do the job. It's just a slightly smaller screen. So we've got the reversing camera hooked up as well. We've done a dab wing mirror antenna. I'm sorry, a um, body mounted antenna. And this is the INE W611D. So built in navigation. Uh, if you've got a vehicle like this, get in touch with us. This is in a T5. Any vehicle, this will go in and work beautifully. Uh, the website is www.advanced incar.co.uk. Um, as for usual, have a good day. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.